The president tweeting late Friday, he wants a 50 basis point, one half percent rate cut, and he wants it now. Larry Kudlow on our air saying he wants a rate cut. Stephen Moore saying we should get a rate cut. Do we need a rate cut? No, we don't. Uh, you mentioned all of the data that we're going to be getting this week. And on balance, it's going to confirm that the economy is fine. Uh, I don't think the Fed went too far with rate hikes. Yes, we can argue all day about the December rate hike, but certainly they didn't make a mistake in September and December. What we have, though, is that markets, of course, are ahead of the data. Uh, they're looking to the future. We've already gotten some forward-looking data that suggests we're going to pull out of this weak quarter, but right now we're still getting data on January and February. Uh, now, ISM will cover March, but retail sales out this morning, that was delayed from the government shutdown, and that covers, covers the month of February. So markets are looking ahead, as they should, to some of these more positive data that are suggesting that we're going to be on firmer footing going into the second quarter, and we're just having to digest a very noisy quarter Well, do you think right that Larry now. Kudlow and the president know something we don't? No, they don't. And if you are Chair Powell, sitting here looking at the economy today, looking at markets today, looking how much financial conditions have eased, mostly because they took themselves out of the equation, moving to the sidelines, stopping rate hikes, stopping the balance sheet runoff later this year. You know, there is nothing in that that tells you they need to cut rates. They don't need to raise so what rates. what do you think they're doing? But they What's don't need the to goal cut. here? So the goal is to keep the economy more even keeled, right? If you're a monetary policymaker, your job is to keep the economy growing around trend with inflation around trend. And from their perch, it looks like they've achieved that goal. So having achieved that goal, there's nothing to do. This is what we say when the Fed is at neutral. Now, neutral is like being in purgatory. You don't know if your next move is going to be up or down. And when you're at neutral, the probability is about the same of each of those occurring. So they're walking a fine line here, but the economy is strengthening as we move into the second quarter. Look at financial mm -hmm. conditions. There is nothing that says the next move should be down. Stephen Moore may be nominated for the Fed. Should he be? Let's say that if he were to join the Fed, adds more diversity of thought. He's definitely out there on the fringes. Okay, so it adds a more, more, another element of diversity. Um, it might not be the best start um, as a Fed governor when you've called for the resignation of the chair uh, earlier uh, last year or late last year. Uh, that's not a good recipe, but hey, he could be nominated. Uh, this is the best back backdrop he's going to get in terms of testimony. But I could imagine, you know, yeah. I've been with him when he's called for 50-year, 100-year bonds. Why wouldn't you issue those when rates are this low? That's higher debt. A lot of Senate Republicans may not like that.